Welcome, everybody. Oh, sorry. Hi. Welcome, everybody. Uh, we are going to have some fun with MicroPython here. Uh, the, this is a little bit uh, untypical talk because uh, I don't really have a PowerPoint here or on the other slides. Uh, instead, uh, I have those, this hardware here that you are going to take in your hands and actually do something fun with it. And uh, I have some materials prepared for ins with instructions on what you can do with that, of course. But uh, if you want to try, if you are more adventurous and uh, already did something uh, with this stuff before, so uh, you can also do your own things, like have your own ideas about what to do. And there is also some extra stuff there that you can play with then. So uh, we have about 25 uh, people here. I only have about 20 kids. So some of you will need to work in pairs. Uh, so can, can, can you sit so that, uh, I don't know. OK, let, let, let's, let's do it like this. Uh, take the kids that are here. So you need uh, the plastic bag and the, and the breadboard with the ESP8266. And uh, the people who, who didn't get theirs will, will sit together with someone else. Okay. So there should be a micro USB cable in the in the plastic bag, and you will also need obviously a laptop with a USB port. And if you have Windows or Mac, uh, you will need to install the drivers. Uh, right. If you have Linux, no drivers are necessary. Okay, so the address for the, for the workshop instructions is here. I don't know if you can read that easily. If not, then please shout. I will try something better. And I will be preparing my own version here. Oh, sorry. Oh, right. When I switch, you don't see.
Can, can you repeat? Let, let me fix that. For the driver. Windows. Drivers. Okay. So let me... Okay, so the proper URL for the download is this. I'm sorry for the inconvenience, but they, they moved the URL when I was not looking. Uh, you don't need a driver for Linux. Linux has everything built in in the kernel. No, no. We will only be using a serial console to communicate with the board. And all the code that we will uh, use will run on those boards. Okay, I'm going to, while you download and install everything, I'm going to give you a short introduction about uh, what MicroPython is and what, how, how it was made and what it's good about, uh, good for. So uh, about several years ago, uh, one of uh, the, the, they came this guy, uh, Damien George, who decided, okay, what if we could use Python on microcontrollers such as Arduino or, or uh, you know, all this stuff. Uh, and uh, he started to look around and found some old projects that tra attempted this but failed because uh, Arduino really has a very small amount of memory, about two kilobytes, and a very slow processor. It's, uh, 16 megahertz and 8-bit uh, processor, so very, very slow. <coughs> However, it turns out that, uh, you know, world is not standing still and new microcontrollers come out all the time. And uh, Damien decided to build his own microcontroller board that is similar to Arduino, but uh, that is uh, a bit more uh, advanced and can run uh, his own version of Python. So he started experimenting with that and he started to write his own version of Python from scratch in C. And uh, at some point he decided, okay, I can make it work. Let's make a Kickstarter out of it. And he put it on Kickstarter and it was a great success, of course, and he made this uh, pie board thing that you can still buy from micropython.org uh, project, which, uh, which has a quite powerful STM32 microcontroller on it and runs Python natively. It has an accelerometer, an SD card slot, uh, a bunch of buttons you can use, and uh, a lot of pins you can connect stuff to, and uh, it's quite powerful platform. And uh, everything was fine. People started using it. The community started to grow. And uh, sometime later, uh, there came this ESP8266 uh, board that was initially invented as a Wi-Fi bridge for Arduino. However, people figured out that the CPU on this is actually 10 times better than on Arduino. And uh, people have figured out how to program them instead of Arduino. And uh, at some point, uh, Damian George and, and Paul, uh, two people decided to try and implement uh, MicroPython for this board. There was a quick proof of concept implementation that they did 
which worked surprisingly well. And uh, they started a second Kickstarter to finish that and polish that. And uh, now we have a proper implementation of MicroPython for those boards. Why we are using those boards and not the Pi board one? So the thing is, uh, the Pi board, uh, it's a very good uh, development board. However, it's quite expensive because it's so powerful. And on the other hand, the ASP8266 board is extremely cheap. It's uh, produced in bulk in China by a Chinese company called Espressive. And uh, you can get a development board like this one uh, for about three or four dollars. So that's why I was able to make all those kits for you to, to play with today. Uh, so we are going to use that. However, there are also other, you have to remember that there are also other boards that you can use when, when you outgrow the ESP8266 and when you need something more. Like there is this OpenMV board, for instance, that has a camera on it and uh, you can actually uh, detect faces or, or uh, you know, do all sorts of stuff of computer vision with it. Anyways, so who hasn't installed the drivers yet? Hands up. Okay, I, I will come to you. Actually, it will be easier if I just come to you and, and help all of you and not stand here. So I, for the camera lady, I, I'm very sorry. I'm going to be walking around, so this video is probably not going to be a very good recording of this talk. I'm sorry.
use this one. Here, just put it on the on the stage. I will clean that up, and uh, uh, we can. You, if you didn't finish everything that you wanted to do, or you want to do some more stuff, uh, then find me during the sprints, and we can continue playing with this and maybe do some more advanced things. Thank you very much. <laughs>